Hey, East Point, for the weekly update, I want to start with something I shared at our Monday morning staff meeting about not coasting as we start this year and continue to wait for COVID to play out and hopefully be taken out in the coming months, right? The focus is to make sure we're not just expecting a change because we're in a new year and then doing little or nothing to ensure a spiritual heart change that moves us deeper in personal relationship with Jesus and with each other. We've got to do something about that. So what I want you to know and what I'm doing, I'm, I'm approaching my time with God and with Jesus with greater expectation that with the help of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to hear from Him more specifically and be led into more meaningful and purposeful connections with people that I will have no hesitation in sharing Jesus with. So this past Monday, I get in my chair for my chair time connection with God. I even had my cup of coffee with me as I have on occasion and was looking more forward, I have to say, to that cup of coffee based on what I normally would do. And I think I heard God say to me, hey, you're, you're putting your coffee in front of me this morning. He didn't tell me to set it down, but I put it down. For me, it was a great moment simply to know God wants more of me, more of my attention. He wants all of me. The next day, during my chair time and my reading, I had what I believe was the most moving and meaningful encounter that I've ever had with God, or that at least I've had in years. And I'm going to share about that this coming Sunday. I don't want you to think that the only confirmation of time with God is to have an experience. However, I don't want to minimize an experiential relationship with God either. After all, aren't relationships experiential? We love spending time with people that we love. We call it a great experience. Sometimes there's just silence, sometimes laughter and deep conversation or words of encouragement or knowledge or information shared that can be life-changing. And most of all, it's just the genuine comfort of being with someone we know and love. Our reverence in approaching God is possibly needed even more. That we don't casually approach Him, that we neglect to remember how powerful He is and how all-knowing and how all-loving and that we are in His presence. Just a thought for you as you head through your week. A couple other places we'd love for you to connect as you go through this week. Groups and classes have their final registration day this Sunday, so we'd like you to register online at eastpoint.church slash register. Also, Tuesday night prayer gathering continues to grow. Over 80 people joined us last Tuesday. It's just a rich connection with God. So join us on Tuesday evening as well to connect with each other and with God especially. This Sunday, we start our new series through the book of Revelation that we are calling Resolve. You'll wanna come and be a part of that or if you're not here physically, we'll look forward to seeing you online as well. It's gonna be a great and practical study through the book of Revelation. Can't wait to see what God has in store for us. Praying that you have a productive and meaningful rest of your week. God bless you guys, we'll see you Sunday.